This tutorial on uh, character generation on Syndom. I'm going to try to make it pretty quick. Uh, if you read this, it'll say it takes typically 30 to 60 minutes, but I've done this so many times that I'm going to run through it very fast um, and try to cover the bases. So um, I've connected. You should have an email uh, after registering with your username and password, the character name rather. A character will character name will change immediately upon um, going through character generation and you'll start connecting with the name you choose for your character. So um, here's a list of the steps that you're going to go through. Pick a gender, come up with a name, define your core stats, define your skills, pick an additional language if you're intelligent enough, write your description, pick physical attributes, and tell us how you got to send them. Uh, if you want ideas for character ideas, you can type ideas. And if you uh, want more information, you can select one. Uh, commands are entered just by typing them and then hitting enter, which will send them off. Uh, similar to what you would do on the command line if you're familiar with that. Um, so, the, um, let's see, I want to begin so I can start actual character generation. I'm going to choose a male character. You'll see that this is highlighted if you're, especially if you're using the web client in uh, yellow to tell you that you should do M. If at any point you want to restart, you can always type start over. So I'm going to choose M to move forward. I'm going to type my name as, um, let's see, John. No, let's choose a name that's never been uh, done. So we'll choose Polar because I have a Polar Seltzer on my desk. You'll see a warning about not creating crazy names like Cyberpunk, Demon, Ghost Warrior, Monster Mash. We've seen this stuff happen before. Uh, character name, Polar. Yes, I want to do that. So I type yes. Um, from this point forward, if I disconnect, I'll have to connect with Polar. Okay, I hit enter. From here, I have 20 points to distribute over my seven stats. Um, I can type one to raise my strength. And this will just refresh. This will not always change right away. Uh, it takes multiple raises to raise uh, the name of a stat, but that doesn't mean that the back in the background um, it doesn't it, it isn't actually raising it. What it means is that you know active refers to um, a uh, a range of um, stat. So like if you have 50 points in strength, maybe or between 50 and 60, maybe you're active. That's just an example. So if I'm at 58 and I raise it one, uh, at 59 I raise it one again, um, I would finally show a different name there. These are just examples of, um, they're not examples, these are just like placeholders for your actual stats because we don't reveal that information. Um, so I can raise a couple more, I'll type three, just type that a bunch of times. Eventually I'm not gonna have any left to, um, to raise uh, and I can type if I, if I want, I can say one down and reduce the stat, right? Um, like say I've decided I want to put some more into luck or something like that. You can type help stats to get some information on what the stats actually do. Um, and then you can type L or look to just see where you are in character generation. So I'm done with this and I'm going to say that I'm good. I forfeit my remaining points because I don't care about this character. Um, and from here I can pick skills. You want to type help skills or just plain skills to actually choose or, or to see what skills are useful. Uh, I'm gonna say I want to put five in trading. I want to I want to use trading. So that's number five. You'll see it right here. And I'm gonna raise it ten points, which is the most I can raise it in one go. I can type five again and I can raise it ten points again. I recommend focusing on two, maybe three skills. You'll have a chance to raise skills later. You gather uh, experience points as you play the game, um, but you want to kind of focus at first. So I'm not going to assign all these. I'm just going to type done. Now um, I can describe myself. So I type at describe me as a tall man with black hair and brown eyes. He has a thin build, but looks as if he... Eats regularly. I don't know what that means. Um, his left eye is bisected by a large scar. So that's my description. Very basic description, and it will immediately take me to this next area where I choose um, my orientation, where I'm descended from. So I'm going to be a colonist. 
One thing to keep in mind about your description is you can change it at any time, and there are additional ways to describe yourself and to express yourself in the game. So I'm going to choose my ethnicity as a colonist. I'm going to choose my hair as I think I chose light brown. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to say it's straight hair, because I like straight hair. And then I'm going to choose my eye color, which is blue, I think. Maybe I said brown, but whatever. You can always change that. I'm going to be average height, which you'll see in meters. You can always look that up online if you need a feet to meters conversion. I'm going to be of average build. Uh, and then I'm going to choose that I found this from Google search. I'm now out of character generation in the fastest character generation time that has ever happened. And I am tossed into the game world. I'm going to see a bunch of information show up here. Um, newbie, rules, how to connect to game help, um, which I'm actually already on. Uh, you're connected automatically. So if you have a question, you can type X game. I have a question. How do I change my description? And you sit, you hit enter, and that goes out to uh, all the players in the game. And they'll be able to answer that question for you, hopefully. Uh, you can't ask for in-character information or anything like that. So um, check out at newbie, check out at rules. These are very important, very, very important. They have a lot of information there. And we'll see you in the next video where we discuss, um, you know, moving around in the game.